Hello there. I'm Dr. Zelda Okia. I am a life and weight loss coach. And today I have another poem for you. This is not one that I wrote myself. I wish I would have because I have loved this poem for years. It was a book my mother had and I used to carry around with me. And this poem, I can recite it by heart. The author is Warren Cooney. And the title is No Images. And this is another poem that will help to get us into the spirit of what I'm going to bring on Saturday with my webinar, Black Burnout, How to Survive and Thrive in the Age of Black Burnout. So this is the poem. It starts out, she does not know her beauty. She thinks her brown body has no glory. I like to move when I do this, this poem because it's, it's just like music to me. But it says, if she could dance naked under the palm trees and see her reflection in the river, she would know. But there are no palm trees in the street and dishwater gives back no images. And I wanted to just read you a commentary that I found about this poem. So Warren Cooney, I'm sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, was a trained musician, but he focused on his literary work, such as his poetry. But as I was moving and swaying and dancing to the rhythm of that poem, his the ballads and the blues made their way into his poetry. He wrote that poem when he was 18 years old, and he won a prize for it two years later in 1926. The poem is about an Afri African American girl who doesn't consider herself beautiful. She might be working as a dishwasher, as a dishwasher but the poem talks about dishwater and how that's her only reflective surface. And it's, a, and it's symbolic of the fact she has no clear impression of herself other than what society gives her. And if we know about dishwater, it's often murky and gray and doesn't reflect back any images. But the middle verse speaks of palm trees and river. So it re references either an African or a Caribbean culture where maybe she was surrounded by beautiful black and brown women who could reflect that beauty that was within her. But yet it shows how the society where she was living was shaping her impression of how she would she perceived herself and it limited us just like so often society limits us as a people um, from becoming everything that we could possibly be and from being a true reflection of who we really of the greatness that is inside of us so these are just some of the things that I'm hoping to will come out in the discussion this Saturday. So it's Saturday, April 11th at 10 a.m. And I'm going to put another link up um, in this post. So sign up um, for the webinar ahead of time. And let's just uh, spend that time together and really dive into this topic of black burnout. So thank you for watching this video. Continue to stay safe and um, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Bye-bye.